What's up guys it's the real deal welcome to the channel guys today we're gonna to be looking at where you should spend your diamonds and this is really really important even though um, eternal evolution just throw diamonds at us and they're pretty easy to manage we don't want to fall into any pitfalls and just you know blow all our diamonds unnecessarily definitely want to hold on to them and there are certain places you definitely want to be using them so the first one would be the um, Idor Awards, I will pick up all five of these with the Fast Patrol. You know, you get a, a whole bunch of rewards for this and it's pretty cheap. So definitely worth doing that. Then the next thing would be the Virtual Training Room. So I usually just pick up the one extra book. Is it a book or a ticket? I use a, get a ticket and then I'll do an extra run because we do get some nice rewards here. Um, we're getting those mythic runes which are for exclusives and then we also get this world coin as well which can help awaken um, your heroes as well so yeah we want to be picking up all of this every single day and as you get better in the game as well you should be able to clear stage 10 not first time every time but in those three you should definitely be clearing at least once to the max then the next place we will look at is the borderland. So Lost Valley, um, I'm always, so I will fully buy the stamina. Just get as much stamina as you can. I think early on in the game, I'd actually probably rack up the stamina, uh, but I wouldn't use it heavily. So you get to stage or level five pretty quickly. I think probably around seven. Let's just have a look at the probability. Yeah, at seven, I'd start to use them a little bit. Don't go ham, sort of use a few. And then when you get to like 10, 11, that's when we start to get, well, yeah, more like I think nine and 10, when we start to get these mythicals, that's when I'm going to start to invest a little bit more. So that's for all of them. Every single one of these caves, we want to start investing our stamina. So yeah, rack up that stamina. And that's a big mistake I made early on the game is I did not buy this stamina and I should have done really, I would have, massively bumped up my progression um is there anywhere else that i would yep crimson abyss so i think level two is when i would start to buy these um the stamina that you can get for here and again these are pretty cheap and you get a huge trade-off for the amount of um rubies that we can get from here as well so level two, level three is when I would start to buy them and start to use them. And then probably, I think the last place is probably the shop. But I will do like a quick overview as well, just to make sure we've not missed anywhere. So I will do all the refreshes on this. And then I'm buying rubies. I'm buying gold at the moment because I'm, I was really low on gold. Um, for the shards... I will never get rares. I know some people like to. Personally, I feel like they're quite expensive. I'd rather buy the elite ones, you know, so we can get elite champions. Sorry, elite heroes. I'd rather do that. Um, again, the um, anything to help with the exclusives. You can't see it there, but yeah. So we can get runes for there for our exclusive weapons. They are huge. You need to get them. That you just upgrading your exclusive on a hero will just massively jump up the damage they can do um these as well um just you know they're used for upgrading your gear so need these as well again I was, i'm saving gold at the moment normally i'd buy all of this but at the moment i'm you know that's how free to play works is i try and save up my resources so i've got a good chunk and then i'll start to just spend willy-nilly um i never buy these i just feel like i don't need them so they're a hard skip from me so for gear usually you have two slots here i did buy some gear early on and it did help me progress a little bit faster but i only did that for two days so for two days i'd buy an odd piece like maybe four or five pieces of gear um and i just bought the crit ray and i bought vigorous that's all i bought it did help me speed up my progression a little bit after that you don't need to buy gear anymore don't buy it anymore after that so there's nothing else that we need to get from the shop nope 
And I think that's pretty much everywhere that I spend in the, was well, where I spend my diamonds, but I'm just double checking. And yeah, that's it. That's the only place, ah, wrong elite campaign as well. So elite campaign, I've got some, I've got some that I need to spend. But yeah, you definitely want to be buying these as well. I think you can buy an extra two or three um, tickets a day so we can do some extra runs. But yeah, you want to be doing that as well. But I think, yeah, let's just have a look. So yeah, even from, yeah, I, I would just, yeah, straight up, straight up, I would just be doing it in Elite Campaign as well. So that is everywhere that I spend diamonds in the game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this video has helped you. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure to smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.